Hey yo, this is another Tuesday toy photography tutorial and we have another subscriber request. I'm gonna answer these two questions. What size lens do you use for the best depth and blurring the background? And two, what are your settings on your camera for toy photography? Question one, I did a quick post over on TikTok a while ago but let's get a little closer. When it comes to depth of field and blur in your image, let's first look at aperture. That's gonna be this F number right here. Without getting too technical, it is one component of the exposure triangle, so it will affect the light in your image when you increase or decrease this number. However, it also affects the depth of field in your image, which is the blur and level of clarity. The higher this F number is on your camera, the more in focus your subject and background will be. So the lower this F number is, the less in focus your background is gonna be, and there's gonna be more blur in the background and maybe your subject as well. So on your camera, mess around with this setting, but remember, it also affects how much light your camera is taking, so the brightness will be affected in your image. The second half of depth of field is going to be the lens. Not all lenses are created equal. And going back to the aperture, some lenses can go higher or lower than others. When it comes to the depth of field, you want a higher millimeter lens to give you the most blur and compress the background. On the flip side, a wider lens will open up the background more and give less blur. When it comes to toy photography, it really just depends on what you're going for. In this last shot, I used my 100 millimeter lens because I wanted to compress this poster board and make sure only that was the background. Let's see how this would have looked if I used a wider lens, then I would have had to have gotten closer. But remember, it's all about your choice and what you're going for. So experiment with different lenses and see what you like. Some people only use one lens all the time and that's their style. I like to mix it up and use different lenses. Question two, what are my settings for toy photography? I don't don't just use one setting and there isn't like a perfect setting. Common theme I would like to say is just to experiment and mess around with different settings. A quick tip, especially when starting out, is using a tripod because you're able to keep the subject and take the exact same photo in the exact same spot, but you can change the light, change the settings, change the lens, and it's going to be exactly the same just with your changes. If you're holding it, you might be off a little bit, you might, you might shake you might move it, it might not be perfect. A tripod just makes things easier to practice and compare different settings to see what you like the most. So it's all about experimenting. Even though I don't have just one best setting, just to answer the question. For the shutter speed, I usually stay between one tenth of a second and one one hundredth of a second. Unless I'm outside or creating like an explosion, then I'll go up to one two hundred fiftieth of a second. For aperture, I usually keep it between f2.8 and f8. And the ISO, I do keep it low most of the time, like 100, 160, but I'll mess around with it up to like a thousand. After that, you should be adding more light yourself. And I always shoot in raw format on my camera. This just gives the most freedom and control when you're editing on the computer. So practice, experiment, and mess around with settings. Hope this helps. Let me know in the comments. Sometimes it makes me feel good. Go create and inspire. I'll see you out there. Peace.